Today we're going to talk about winter kill of warm season turf grasses in Oklahoma. In the Cooperative Extension Service recently we've been receiving a lot of phone calls and emails concerning whether there was going to be widespread winter kill in Oklahoma in our warm season lawns. We'll start out first by describing the definition of winter kill because we have to get on the same page regarding the definition. That term means different things to different people. The term actually means that part or all of a stand has been damaged during the winter. Winter kill also can apply to individual plant parts. So the damage can either be from low temperature injury, drought during the winter, or a combination of both. So it's very important first that we understand as we visit with each other what our own definition of the term is. We're also going to talk about scouting for winter kill so with that development and skill set one can check their own lawn and see the severity of the winter kill and whether it's present. So we're here at the Oklahoma Studio grounds and we're going to take a look at a stand of mid-lawn Bermuda grass. Midlawn is a very winter hardy Bermuda grass, so this is not a stand we'd expect to see much damage on, but we're going to show you the technique for scouting for winter kill. Now Midlawn is a very fine textured grass, uh, it has a high stem density, very winter tolerant, so it may be a little bit challenging to see what we're actually looking for. Uh, because air temperatures are much colder than the soil temperature, the progression of winter kill uh, is for the top of the grass stand to die first, knocking out nodal segments and internodal segments towards the ground. The stolons, which are nested within the canopy, are subject to less cold temperatures than the top of the turf canopy, and then the protected crowns underneath on the rhizomes or underground creeping stems are actually the last to be subjected to, to severe winter kill conditions. Now the technique that I like to use is called canopy parting. I especially use this if winter conditions are still expected to be severe for a few more weeks, but you want to get an early view of what's going on. Canopy parting isn't destructive and it doesn't leave the stand any more winter kill. We also can use a canopy brushing technique, which is easier to use, but we want to use it late in the winter because it opens up the stand and we can have some winter kill of the spots that one is brushed if we practice it a little too early. First let's talk about parting the canopy. I Again, I use it earlier on in the winter and what we're doing is simply pulling the canopy back and we're looking down within the frosted off or frozen off turf canopy and we're looking for the presence of either uh, live green, red, or purple nodal segments. And again, it's difficult to see uh, because the canopy's uh, shading and also uh, because of the uh, bright tan color, but here's what we're looking for in terms of live tissue. We're looking for these live green uh, nodal segments here down in the canopy and being sure that we see enough of those and well distributed around the stand means that we've got the source of life for regeneration of that stand uh, later on. Now I brought some big coarse Bermuda grass here because it's a little bit easier to see the live green shoot system on it. Uh, this has stems about twice the diameter of the fine textured uh, midlawn. And here's actually a green shoot, so this stand that this came out of is not far off from, from greening up. But uh, we're looking for green inner node segments to indicate that the stand is alive green, red, or purple internode state, uh, uh, segments. If the segments are tan or brown or crispy, those parts of the plant have actually died during the winter. So look down, nestled in the canopy for things that were protected. Now this winter of 2013-2014, uh, it's been colder than average but not as cold as the winter of 9-10, which we saw a lot of uh, complete top kill of Bermuda grass, and certainly not as bad as the gold standard for winter kill, which was the winter of 1989-90. Uh, in 2010 in the spring, regardless of which Bermuda grass we saw, practically all of the top growth was killed. Even when we opened up the canopy uh, in that spring, we couldn't see green, red, or purple uh, internode segments on stolons. So then we had to take out plugs and actually wash 
the soil off of the rhizomes to check for the presence of white rhizomes. Now the areas to check, uh, this is a very healthy area of the lawn. The areas that you should check are actually the ones that you suspect are most susceptible to winter kill. Those are your areas in your north shade lines, your areas of heavily compacted soil where there's lots of foot traffic, very low areas that stay wet and soggy all the time. Any area that you can think of that stresses the turf grass, whether it's during the growing season or the winter, are really your areas to check. So scouting can be done uh, by anyone. You can do it at any time during the winter. And just prior to green up is probably the best time to see what we're likely to get in a few weeks. Now let's say we had had severe winter kill. What would the steps be for helping out the stand? Well, uh, usually at worst, uh, we're left with a situation that's similar to sprigging where you've got a few inches to maybe a, a foot between stems. If you're willing to wait and if you have a good distribution of live green shoots that come out, you can fertilize, irrigate, and uh, uh, culture that stand through mowing and patience like is discussed in our Hort sheet, uh, Fact Sheet 6420 Lawn Management in Oklahoma and you can grow the stand back in over time. If you'd like to reseed it or resprig it, you can look at the practices discussed in establishing a lawn in Oklahoma, Fact Sheet 6419. What's important to know that if you're planning to reseed, you can't have applied a pre-emergent herbicide for crabgrass control prior to reseeding, or you may have a three or four month wait uh, from the time that things warm up until the pre-emergent herbicide has uh, been broken down enough that you can get seedlings to germinate. Now, in terms of grasses that we expect winter kill to be worst on, it's going to be things like New Mex Sahara, Sahara, uh, Celebration, Princess 77. Those are your least hardy winter Bermuda grasses. Your Bermuda grasses like Midlawn, Midfield, Midiron, Latitude 36, Northbridge, Patriot, Astro, and most U3 selections have pretty good winter hardiness and they'll suffer much less injuries, uh, injury. Now, other turf grasses that are more susceptible to winter kill than Bermuda grass are another widely used grass in southeastern Oklahoma, and that's St. Augustine grass. The most winter hardy of the St. Augustine grasses is Raleigh St. Augustine and also Texas Common. Those are really the only two right now that are, uh, have reasonable winter hardiness and can survive with great regularity. Uh, we expect to see a little more winter kill on St. Augustine this year than most years. So you can use the same canopy scouting technique to find out ahead of time whether you can expect a lot of winter kill or just a light uh, thinning of your St. Augustine stand. So it's a relatively easy technique and we encourage you to get out and scout the lawn so that you can begin to plan for repairs if necessary.